What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be diving into this classic, simple, easy little glam look. And I'm gonna be using a lot of um, products that I've never used before. There is a $200 primer that just hit the market from one of my favorite brands. So we're gonna try out this today. Did it do anything special or is it all bullshit? You'll have to find out in a minute. And I'm gonna be using some foundations and powders and stuff and lipstick that I've never worn or even tried before um, until now. So it is a little bit of a first impressions of a bunch of stuff. So you guys will get to see me play with a lot of new stuff. And I just wanna kinda recreate the look I did for my Kylie lip swatch video earlier in the week. Everyone was like, what? How did you do different? Now, I think when I tone down my eye makeup and switch up my face routine, you can definitely tell you guys always clock me and know me the best. So I'm gonna be recreating that look for you guys with a classic red lip with a twist. There has been so many new things coming out from every brand across the board. We're about to dive into holiday season and I'm scared, but um, I'm gonna try out as many new um, things as I can, like this highlighter today. Two highlighters from two different brands that I've never used before. That, if that's not shocking enough, then I don't know what is. Besides that, you guys, today is a really exciting day. My lip ammunition has finally launched. All 10 shades just hit my website, so I think while um, you guys are watching this, you better get to shopping, baby. I'm like, I'm over the moon, so I'm gonna go celebrate my launch, and of course, if you guys wanna see how I created this little classic glamour, then keep on watching. Let's get started. So for primer today, I'm gonna to be using something I've never used before and there's gonna be a lot of firsts in this um, video. I almost said virginity. There's gonna be a lot of firsts in this video. So this is a new primer from Sicily. It is called the Double Tensiar Instant and Long Term. So basically this primer, which by the way, $200, I'm like, this better give me some new fucking skin because that is a hefty, huge price for a primer and I think it's a little absurd, but I had to try it. Now, Sicily is one of my favorite brands. Now, let's go all the way back to my May favorites video. I talked about the Black Rose Cream Mask, which is so good. If you have dry or normal skin, this, oh my God, listen, it's everything. Now, I also use the Sicily Floral Toning Lotion. It's basically a liquid toner. It's one of my favorites after I take off all my makeup, I gently tone my whole entire face and neck with this guy. Oh my god, it's everything. So I've been a huge Sicily fan for a minute. So when I saw this primer, I'm like, all right, girl, the price tag is fucking insane, but what does it really do? So looking on their website, it says that it is a fresh gel with a second skin effect. So this is supposed to be the bomb before you put on your foundation and it's supposed to be sickening. So it says that it's double effective, both immediate and long term. So it's supposed to firm your face and give you a kind of uplifted look and take away any signs of fatigue. I'm like, girl, I am fatigued, bitch. Woo. And it says after four weeks, the skin will look more toned and more denser to the touch. Is that true though, bitch? Guess we'll have to find out. So I am just going to take this like this. Oh. Okay, it has an interesting um, texture. I don't want to do too much yet. I'm scared. I'm just gonna rub it in. Ooh, it feels kind of like tacky, almost like a little sticky, not in like a horrendous way. It just feels a little like, mmm, okay. Mm, it smells really, really fresh. Like, mm, just that like mm, amazing like skincare smell that we all love. It feels really tacky and um, I think we're ready to dive into foundation. All right, now for foundation, I'm gonna be using my favorite Dior Air Flash for a little base. Now I've been doing this for ever. I love my Dior Air Flash. Now there's been so many new foundations put out lately. I really have kind of put this on the back burner for the last few months and it's sitting there like, bitch, why'd you forget about me? All right, so I love to apply this by just giving it a shake and then I like to hold back my hairline and course get the neck and that is like my little what I like to call it the base um, and it can just sit there for a minute I love this foundation because you can talk and it doesn't dry down crazy and um, you know it ain't hard to work with now I'm also going to be going in with a new foundation that I discovered at Neiman Marcus this is the Cle de Poix radiant cream foundation now this was a pricey one as well I think this one was like 120 bucks so if you're like bitch you got the wrong one I'm kind of there with you. You guys know I love my luxurious makeup, but this is tiny, you guys. Look how tiny this bottle is. Like, the Dior one, it's like, 
Girl. Allegedly, this is supposed to be the shit. It has SPF 24 in it. Why not 25? Um, and it's just supposed to be sickening. So I'm just going to give this one a shake. And I am just going to apply a little bit because I don't know how, you know, I don't know the coverage on this one yet. I'm just going to dot it all around. Let's get to blending. All right, we are blended out, and I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer, but oof, a bitch of skin is looking snatched. Um, I love it. Now, the primer didn't really minimize the pores too much in my troublesome area that I hate, but um, the skin, it looks really, really beautiful. It's not too cakey. It is full coverage, though, which I love, but it doesn't look full coverage, if y'all know what I mean. Let's continue. For concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Listen, I've been addicted to this ever since I used it. I am such a fan, and for everyone um, that will be asking, I'm shade Fair. So I think this is the lightest one. They just added some new shade extensions to the brand, and I love when brands do that. So let's just uh, dot some on and see what happens. And of course, we're gonna go back in with our damp beauty blender and buff this all out. All right, concealer is blended. Now I'm actually gonna do something I haven't done before. I'm scared. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Compact Translucent, but not until I put on my MAC Shivering White Studio Fix under the eyes. You guys already know. It just applies so beautifully. So I'm just gonna pack this and we are really gonna highlight those under eyes and also set them at the same time. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with a Morphe E3 with that Laura Mercier. And I'm just gonna hit the spots that I already highlighted so that chin, she's being set, baby. And then I am just gonna hit my under eyes. Bam, and that's it. Put that shit in your fucking eye. Now for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be going in with the same brush, but I'm gonna be using a, another new product today. So many firsts today. Now the foundation, Clé de Pas, I love that brand. I also have a powder foundation. Comes in something like this. I'm like, what is the point of that huge brush and this tiny compact? And just so everyone's aware, you had to buy the compact, like the whole unit by itself, and then add in this. It's like, what in the f And remember, I'm just gonna go around the spots that are not highlighted to fill and see what happens. I gotta say, I'm a little mesmerized right now. The skin, though! This is a really good combination. Okay, we're feeling very mannequin. We're feeling airbrushed. Now let's contour. Now to chisel out these cheeks, we're gonna be going in with Tarte Cosmetics Tartist Contour Palette. And I love this shade. It is a perfect for that carved out bitchy look. And I'm gonna be going in with my Surat Beauty. This is like a blush brush, but the other day I was just playing around and it really did a nice job with the cheekbones. So what I did was I just kind of started moving the brush back and forth in circular motions and it blended really nicely. All right, now we're gonna chisel out this jawbone and just lightly go over three fourths. I'm not gonna go all the way, we're just gonna stop right about here. And I love to just take a little bit of powder and go underneath the chin in the jaw and just give it a really defined shadow look like we're carved out of granite. Inky! And now with the Morphe M527, I'm just gonna give my hairline a little definition because that's definitely what I've been doing lately and we're just gonna go back and forth and just create some definition. Come on, depth. And I'm just barely running this just around the nose, a hair. I'm not really gonna contour my nose crazy today. We're just gonna give it a little, just a little moment. And because I have OCD, I just can't stop blending. Now, today for highlighting, I'm gonna be going in with the new Sleek Makeup Highlighter Palette. You guys know, they make some bomb ass highlighters. So this palette is called the Cleopatra's Kiss, and there are two powder highlighters and two cream. Now this one looks to be really, really gold and 
listen, you know, you you guys know I love my pinks and my silver tone highlights, but the gold though, let's, let's bring it back a second. We're gonna go old school. Everyone was like, how'd you get that gold cheek in the um, Kylie lip video? This and I mixed another one, of course. You guys know a bitch ain't just gonna wear one. So I'm gonna be going in with that Morphe 510 and we're just gonna, bam, put this right where my contour and my, <gasps> woo, woo, woo! girl, look at that bitch, what? Mm. Uh-huh, we're just gonna put that right where the contour and the highlight meet. Now this color is a little dark for my skin tone, but because of the contour, I don't mind it. It is blinding. Like, you guys see that? You guys see that fucking cheek? Oof. And of course, we're gonna take that almost into my fucking eye and just go up. Now, of course, we can't forget the Cupid's bow. And we're gonna get that nose because it's time. It's time for the nose. I want it to look like a fucking lighthouse. Cute. Now, I guess it's time for another highlighter. Now, I'm gonna be going in with the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. This one is super gold, like literally, listen, like if a mummy's in a sarcophagus, this is the color of its fucking pussy because this shit is blinding. Now, do I need to use two highlighters? No, this one is blinding on its own. But if you're a sick, twisted bitch like I am, let's get to packing. It's like a gold rush on my face. Like, it's so blinding. Okay, we're done with the look. Good night! <sighs> the highlighting is done. Now I'm quickly gonna draw on some brows off camera. Let's get out some Benefit Cabrow and get to work. All right, the brows are snatched. Come on, brows. Um, I get so many questions about the brows, so I'm gonna do a full tutorial um, of how I do everything. I shave them off. If you don't know about my brows, go check out my How I Did My Makeup in High School video for a quick laugh. Now, let's get to the makeup. All right, we're gonna be taking this Vizzy Art eyeshadow palette, and this shade in here, mm, this cream color, it is perfect for under the brow and the entire lid. Now, this look today does not involve any eye primer. This is kinda gonna be our primer. And we're just gonna put this right under the brow bone and drag it all the way down. All right, we are done with this part. Now, this eye look, it's so simple, you guys. I'm about to blow your mind because, and simple is easy. Um, this is an everyday, quick little go-to eye look. So for that sparkly, wet type of look that I did, I know everyone was like, what the hell did you use? I used a little synthetic brush, and then I actually used these Stila Magnificent Metals. <sighs> if you've never tried them, what are you waiting for? They are everything. Now, there are a bunch of shades. Um, I used Metallic Dusty Rose the other day. Now, these also are supposed to be good with applying with your finger. When your nails are this long, it's a little more difficult, but hey, I'm just gonna try. So what I normally do, if you don't have any nails, this is a lot easier. If you do have nails, um, well, we'll do this together. So I'm just gonna take this and literally pat it on my lid. And this formula is un- real. It gives your eye a wet sort of metallic look. Now, of course, if your nails are three inches long and you can't get inside your eye, that's where the brush comes handy. And I like to just take this guy and wet the brush literally a tiny bit. MAC Fix Plus. And we are just going to go back in with this guy and grab some product. Oof, you see that? You see that? We're just gonna go directly on. And I'm only gonna take this up to the crease area. I'm not gonna bring it any higher. Now, it can look a little chunky, but if you move the brush around, it does spread the product and it gives you a nice little terminator effect. All right, we're done with this guy. Now, for the most <sighs> hardest part, just kidding, this is really simple. Um, you're just gonna take a little blending brush and we're gonna go into the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette and we're gonna dip into Sora and Beaches and Cream. Come on, combination, the best crease combination ever. All you're gonna do is take this and you're gonna go right in that crease and you're just going to blend. Now, if any of the silver moves, you can move it right back, but we're just gonna keep this really simple and gorgeous today. And that's really it. It is really simple, and that white eyeshadow that we already put down for a base is really gonna help this blend out and just really blend nicely together. So I'll just take this light shade, Beaches and Cream, one more time, and we're just gonna kinda drag up and away. So it has that really nice airbrushed finish that we all love and adore. 
Bam. All right, now that the little brown moment is in the crease, we're almost done. We're gonna take my favorite liner for the waterline. This is ColourPop's Honey Dude, and we're just gonna pop that right in there. Voila. I love this shade. It really opens the eye without looking too intense if you are afraid of any white liners. So this is perfect, and it's $5, so I think everyone needs this in their kit. Now, this look is almost over, you guys. All we gotta do is lashes, so of course, <laughs> you know a bitch ain't gonna go anywhere without her Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, my tried and true baby. So we're just gonna pop this on and get some lashes on. All right, mascara is done. Now, before I do some lashes, I'm just gonna go into shade Artemis right here, and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit right in here. Just a little pop of something. Just a little something, something. You really don't need this step, but it's just gonna add a little extra flair, and who doesn't want that? Now, I know I just used Artemis eyeshadow, but there's also a lash brand called Artemis, and they make really dope lashes, and I had someone do my makeup for my lip ammo shoot. Shout out to Anthony. What's up, girl? Um, and he used this on me, and this style is called Mistaken Identity. Love that name. And this is what I was wearing in the video the other day, so let's pop these on, and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. Now all we need to do, guys, is lips, and we're about done. So for lips today, we're gonna be bold, we're gonna be dramatic, we're gonna be naturally classic, and we're gonna go with a red, of course. So I'm gonna be using the Jouer Lip Cream in shade Brocade. Now these are liquid to matte lipsticks. Oof, so yummy. And let's see what this looks like. Whew. This color though, this color. Color. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I love this brand because these lip creams are very lightweight. Feels like nothing's on there. Um, and I'm a big fan. And look, I'm like, do we need one lip or do we need two lips? They also have a lip topper and they have two shades. This is a new one called Tan Lines and you just put it right over the liquid lip. So you definitely can stop here. You do not need a lip topper, but you kind of do. Um, no, but you really don't. You don't even need lashes for this look. If you want to just take off the lashes and do a glossy nude lip, you definitely can. I think for this type of moment, any lip, whether it's black, blue, or nude, or red, um, it flows. It works. So we're just going to see how this looks real quick. Oh, why do these smell so good? And let's see what happens. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh-huh. 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 Ah! Wow, you guys. Hmm. This is pretty dope. I almost think you don't need to do the top lip. It looks kind of cool with this dimension. Maybe I'll dot just a little in the middle. One definition. Mwah. Okay. I'm not gonna do the entire thing. I want it to just live and have a moment. This is not a necessity, but uh, maybe it is. Okay, I'm not gonna do the outer edges. I'm gonna kind of keep it living in the moment so it's very like... <sighs> And um, what do we need? We need some fucking setting spray. All right, now for setting spray, I'm gonna go in with that Derma Blend set and refresh. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay. All right, this look is complete. All right, you guys, this is the uh, final, 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 <gasps> final look, and I am loving it. This lip. Oof. Girl, I'm, I'm obsessed. So I just kind of want to do a quick recap of the video because I know I used a lot of stuff that I've never used before. So this Sicily Double Tensia Primer, was it worth it? I gotta be honest, you guys. My skin, like, let me get out of compact. My skin looks really, really snatched. Like, the foundation just settled amazing on my skin. Like, I'm a really huge fan. Now, of course, this is the first time I've ever used it, so I think I'm gonna go um, to dinner later and see how everything wears, anything changes, um, but I'm a huge fan. And then this powder foundation. Mm. And where's the fuck, where's the foundation? Even though this little bottle makes me wanna slap the brand, um, these two combined with this, now I know it's a little astronomical and you're all gonna read me to filth, but these three, not saying it's the holy grail yet, but let me, you know, wear this throughout the week and um, see what happens. But um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.